the value of friendship. In the picturesque village of Willowbrook, where the scent of wildflowers danced on the breeze and the laughter of children echoed through the cobblestone streets, dwelled four inseparable friends, Aurora, Cedric, Alara, and Finian. Their friendship, woven from threads of trust, laughter, and shared dreams, was as sturdy as the ancient oaks that shaded their favorite meeting spot in the village square. From the first light of dawn to the fading hues of twilight, they gathered beneath the sprawling branches, their hearts intertwined in a bond that defied time and space. Aurora, with her fiery spirit and indomitable courage, was the guiding light of their group, leading them fearlessly into adventures both great and small. Cedric, the gentle giant with a heart as vast as the open sky, stood as the unwavering pillar of strength, offering solace and support in times of need. Alara, the wise and compassionate healer, possessed a gentle touch that could mend not only broken bones but also wounded souls. And Finian, the irrepressible troubadour with a song in his heart and mischief in his eyes, brought joy and laughter to even the most somber of occasions. Their friendship was tested when a shadow descended upon Willowbrook, casting a pall of despair over the once thriving village. A great famine, born of relentless drought and unforgiving soil, ravaged the land, leaving fields barren and bellies empty. Desperation gripped the hearts of the villagers as hunger gnawed at their very essence, threatening to extinguish the flickering flames of hope that remained. In their darkest hour, Aurora, Cedric, Alara, and Finian rallied their community, their bond of friendship serving as a beacon of light in the encroaching darkness. Together, they organized food drives, tended to the sick and the wounded, and offered words of comfort to those who had lost all hope. Their selfless acts of kindness and unwavering determination inspired others to join their cause, turning the tide of despair into a wave of collective resilience. But as the famine stretched on, straining both body and soul, cracks began to form in the once unbreakable bond of friendship. Aurora, consumed by her determination to save their village, clashed with Cedric's cautious approach, their conflicting ideologies sparking heated debates that threatened to tear them apart. Alara, burdened by the suffering she witnessed every day, withdrew into herself, her heart heavy with the weight of their collective sorrow. And Finian, unable to bear the pain of their struggles, retreated into the comforting embrace of his music, his melodies a balm for the wounded spirit. Yet even in their darkest moments, when it seemed all hope was lost, the true power of their friendship revealed itself. For in the crucible of adversity, they discovered that their differences were not weaknesses to be exploited, but strengths to be celebrated. Aurora's courage, tempered by Cedric's wisdom, became a beacon of hope in the darkest of nights. Alara's compassion, nurtured by Finian's laughter, became a lifeline for those who had lost their way. And together, bound by a love that transcended all barriers, they stood united against the tide of despair, their friendship a fortress against the storms of fate.